Hey, what's up? I'm Nizio Cole, and welcome back to another Watch Dogs story concept. Now, this is a series I've been doing of hypothetical Watch Dogs 4 storylines. Today, we have a storyline that's a little bit different. We're going to be talking about my story concept, Ready Ed Terum. So, this one is a little bit different than some of my other story concepts. Usually, I tend to go for a more kind of grounded Watch Dogs, you know, some set in 2007, some set in 2012. I really wasn't a huge fan of the super futuristic Legion setting, but I think that a futuristic watchdogs could be done right, and here's one of my story concepts for it. So this watchdog story concept would be set in the year 2225, and this would be an even more futuristic watchdogs game than Legion. So at this point in the timeline, humanity has colonized almost all of the solar system. We've got settlements all the way out to Uranus, but the biggest settlements are on Mars, Luna, and obviously Earth. Both Mars and Earth have about 13 billion people, and our moon has 500 million. In this world, the rise of AI and technology causes a movement where people start to reject technology and want to go back to kind of the origins of humanity, homesteading, not relying so much on technology, and everything of that nature, even on Mars. There is a pretty prominent politician running on Mars that promises to start a terraforming project that will allow everyone to live completely off the grid. Now, the thing is, the politician is basically in the pocket of Charlotte Gardner's great, 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 great grandson. And if you don't know who Charlotte Gardner is, I believe she was the head of Bloom in Watch Dogs 1. So just a little detail in there to kind of tie it back to the original Watch Dogs. The protagonist is a homeless woman named Jessica. She's 26, she likes to hide in the shadows, and I've actually kind of imagined her as one of my characters from Legion, uh, Mo and Yip. I've talked about her in, in previous videos, but basically her whole thing is that she hides in the shadows, she only goes out at night, and she's just very stealthy. I think stealth would be a very prominent mechanic in this story concept, and everything is very divisive between people who like technology and people who don't like technology. Jess is really good at technology and uses it to her advantage, but is also on the fence and thinks people should be able to choose whether they want no tech or a technology-filled life. And she's still a hacker, obviously, because this is a Watch Dogs game, and due to some of the pushback from some of the anti-technology groups, there is a lot of outdated tech. like way outdated, like 1990s outdated. So you would still get some of that old kind of grounded in reality hacker type vibe, but it would also be mixed with futuristic technology and there'd be an actual reason for there to be both. You will also have to go up against a rival hacker group who just straight up want to blow everything up that has technology in it. One of the main mechanics could be to gather supporters for the no technology side. I'm thinking there could be a mission or storyline where you're kind of working for that big politician until you find out that he's basically being paid by a person with inside of Bloom to sabotage the anti-technology lifestyle, even though he's running under a platform which would remove all technology from Mars. I think a cool mode of transport could be a hoverboard, uh, maybe like the one from Just Cause 4. And then the overall storyline could revolve around exposing tech and asteroid mining trillionaires, as well as the people who are against technology but are really faking it. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much the idea that I had. I've just been thinking about this for a while. Let me know what you think about this story concept. Would you make any changes to it? Do you think an extra futuristic Watch Dogs game would be good? Let me know. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.